Hi, uh, <clears throat> today we are going to learn how to install the Hyperion S-Base 11.1.2.4. We may need Oracle 12C database. We may need foundation services. We may also need HTTP server along with the S-Base. So we may need to install the files from the Oracle website. So let's go there. Let's go to the release too. We need to accept the license and then download the database. Before you download it, please check if your Windows operating system is 64-bit or 32-bit. You can check it from their computer properties. So mine is 64 bit, so I'll be using the 64 bit. Now, post you download this file, you need to download the other files as well. Once you go to this page, this is your foundation services. This is your S base. When you click S base, you will also get you'll also get the HTTPS server. So let's start with uh, Hyperion Foundation Services. Click Hyperion Foundation Services. Under here, you need to accept the license and you need to download these four files now all these files are gonna be zip files post you download that go to oracle space under oracle x space you will find http server for 64 bit download that file and the S base file 64 bit. I have all the links here. I'm going to share them on the video for your reference. Now, once you have all those files, you will have them wherever, wherever you save them. I saved it under D drive. So my foundation is under, no, I have saved them all into a folder which is named as Oracle Hyperion. All these files are zip files. Now you may need to extract them. Now when you extract them, use the 7-zip application to extract. Select extract here. Or select extract files do not select extract here I'll remove all these files Zip, extract files and then select the location where you want the zip files to be extracted so I extracted all of them into separate folders all the foundation one two three four files under foundation s base under s base OHS 
I mean the HTTP server under OHS and then 12C under 12C. A post you do this, you may need to extract a copy, post you extract them, copy all the files into one single folder. I named it as Hyperion install. I copied all the files from all those folders. So you need to copy the files from four foundation folders, OHS and Space. Now while you're copying it, it would ask you if you want to skip the files which are already available because these files are mostly um, the duplicate ones. Do not select skip but select replace. So every time you get a chance to select between skip or replace, always select replace, copy and replace. So once you have all those, you'll have them under one file for Hyperion, under one folder for Hyperion, and then you will have 12C, which is your database. So let's start installing the database first. Once you get in there, run as administrator. Keep the notepad open because you may need to copy the Oracle SID for your reference. Make sure your laptop is on the, I mean directly connected to the power instead of using the battery. It is going to be a little slow on my side because my laptop is not a highly configured laptop. Very first step, you can just skip it. Do you wish to remain uninformed? Yes, I don't need to be informed. Now, in this step, you may have to select create and configure a database because you need <clears throat> the database. Uh, the second one is install software only, which you don't need. And third one is upgrade if you have one. So we'll choose create. So we are using this on the desktop. So we will choose desktop class. Now, the, <clears throat> you may need to create a new Windows user because Oracle doesn't accept the existing user. So create a new user. password make sure you write these credentials on the notepad this user shouldn't be an administrator so that's why you need to create a new one So 
go to the next step. It would ask you where you want to install the Oracle. So choose C drive, which is your regular drive. Under C drive. Uh, name it as Oracle DB database or Oracle 12C. Enterprise edition. You have to always make sure that you select Unicode. Another database name. You have to copy this. Keep it handy. The database name and the SID is same. When you're setting up the Hyperion, these details are needed, so keep them handy. Set up a password. Keep it as a very simple password. I have chosen manager one. So we're good for the next step. Save this response file for your for your reference. And install. going to take its sweet time, so let's wait. <laughs> 